you've all been in this community, in the startup community. Um, three of you in Philadelphia. Geisha, you're in New York. Um, what have you seen change in the city uh, from a startup perspective? How have you seen the startup communities um, that you live in and work in? In order to for change to happen, it first needs to be acknowledged that there is a problem. And I think it's been very increasingly vocal that you, you, many conferences will have dedicated tickets, for example, for women, or just to try and I see more and more efforts to try to change the scenario, um, and that's what's needed. I, I, I predict that in the future there won't be any female founder panels, similar as there aren't any male founder panels, but right now, in order to make sure that this is really communicated and women are featured, it's still happening, and it's amazing. That's nice. What's your big piece of advice for another woman who's watching this somewhere, who is not thinking of of starting a business or that they can't do something, but what would you say to that person? What's your one piece of advice? That is a big one. Uh, I think it depends on what stage. If they are thinking about taking the leap, one of the things that I've noticed with Girl Develop in Philadelphia, which is a nonprofit that helps women learn how to code and start businesses, is a lot of the women that I meet are waiting for permission. They're waiting for someone to say, uh, or, or they're waiting, um, uh, for someone to tell them that they can do it and they don't they don't need permission So I would say just go for it. I mean, I definitely think that's true I think a lot of it has to do with just kind of also getting over this sort of Inevitable embarrassment sometimes that you know that getting putting yourself out there is a little risky and like the first time It's kind of a little rough and you just kind of have to get used to it and just kind of do it um, You know, I mean I pitched in front of rooms full of all men pregnancy tests. So, you know, it, it, you just have to kind of get over it at a certain point. And if you can get past that, I think that's, that's one of the biggest things. Yeah. Don't be afraid to fail. Failure is how you're going to succeed. Um, and I think too many women ha feel that they need to be perfect. Um, and the second one is if you are going to be in a startup, no matter what you're doing, you have to sell. So you cannot be afraid of selling and always be closing. And if you're interested in learning more about what we're doing at Comcast NBC Universal to support entrepreneurs, you can go to ComcastPartner.com um, and check out information about Lyft Labs at ComcastNBCULift.com. And thank you, ladies, so much. This was awesome. I hope this was fun. Thank you.